Pokerogue is a brand new Pokemon roguelite with Generation 9 Pokemon, Mega Evolution, Terrestrialization, and much much more. And after playing it for a few days, I can definitely say that it is a very fun and addicting game. But how is it different from other Pokemon roguelites, like Pokemon Emerald Rogue for example? Well, first of all, this game is completely browser based, so you won't need to download anything, patch any ROMs, or set up an emulator. And because it's also account based, you don't need to transfer any data to play on a different device, you can just log in. But enough about how to play the game, let me actually show you what it's all about. When you first log in, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this, and three options to choose from. New game, load game, and daily run. We're gonna go ahead and select a new game, which will bring us to this screen. Now, as you can see, there's a lot going on here, and I'll explain most of it later, but for now, let's just pick our starters. That's right, in Pokerogue, you don't just get one starter, or even two starters, but three starter Pokemon to begin your first run. I picked the three bird boys, and began my journey. You'll start off against some wild Pokemon, and upon defeating one, you can select an item to choose, or purchase healing from the shop. But be careful, because once you select a free item, you can't buy anything until the next victory. This is about how the first few encounters will go, until the first trainer, who isn't much of a challenge, and as far as I'm aware, yields the same rewards as the wild Pokemon. After that, I encountered a Wurmple, who I decided to catch and add to my team. Upon capture, however, you can see a message that says Wurmple has been added as a starter. If you can't already guess what that means, then don't worry, I'll definitely explain it later. But continuing further, we encounter our rival, who will appear a few times throughout the run. Her Pokemon are about the same level as ours, but don't let that throw you off, cause I'll admit, on my first run, I actually lost this battle. Upon winning, we received the EXP Share and Charm, which will make progression a lot faster. Anyway, after a few more battles, we're finally given our first gym fight. Yes, this game does have gems. Thankfully, as you can see from this battle, Erika wasn't able to do anything against my Kumbuskin, and I won easily. Upon returning to the starter selection screen, we can now see that the Wurmple and all the other Pokemon that were captured can be selected as a starter. This includes Legendaries, Ultra Beasts, and Paradox Pokemon you catch in the future as well. The number you see next to the Pokemon represents their value as a starter, and you can select as many of them as you want until your total value hits 10. So you could in theory start your run with 6 Pokemon, if you picked 4 of them worth 2 points, and 2 of them worth 1 point. Heading back to the main menu, there's a second game mode that we haven't tried and that's the daily run. It starts us off with a preset team of three Pokemon, and some held items on each of them. Other than the presumed daily reset, the catch seems to be that you can't buy any items on victory, and are stuck with whatever the game gives you. I haven't played much of this game mode in particular, but it does seem to be a very interesting alternative if you don't want to start a potentially endless run. Before I end this video, I just want to say that even if what you've seen so far doesn't sound appealing to you, then don't worry. This game only came out a few days ago and so far has plans to add new content like new trainer types, monotype runs, and even PvP. And if you've stuck around thus far, then yes, you can play this game on your mobile device, as seen here. Keep in mind that I am playing on an Android, so I can't guarantee that it works on other phones. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more Pokemon content from me, be sure to leave a like and subscribe.